read English by Eddie Singh and children today we are going to explore one of the most important social issues child labor a curse to humanity well children the word child labor is very familiar to everyone children are being employed in different places of work these days despite the fact that child labor has been banned yet we can see children working at farm houses in factories in hotels in dhabas and in all places of work this is really a shameful act for humanity because children are the future of the nation if they grow i mean healthy if they grow i mean educated then only the nation will be educated but the fact is that a large number of children are still employed in different places of work in our country the the fact that government has already banned child labor yet we can see children below the age of 13 and 14 working in bengal factories working in small factories working in dhabas picking uh, i mean polythene bags and working in hazardous conditions it is only because child labor is a cheap labor children can be easily handled and they can be employed easily they are the cheapest labor available in our country that is one reason why children are still employed by the landlords by the farm owners and by the factory owners there in there are places like firozabad there are places like faizabad and many other places where there are bengal factories we can see children working in uh, dark dinghies i mean uh, trying to help their parents making bangles these children could have become better if the government and the people help them come out of those dark houses and join the schools government has been doing a lot of things to bring those children to school but it is not enough unless the people in general are aware of the growing demand of educating such children it is not possible to save the children from exploitation children are being exploited in many places of work the landlords the farm owners employ them and exploit them their future is ruined and they are just being given a small i mean wages for the huge i mean sacrifice they make that is a curse to humanity first of all we have to understand that employing children is totally illegitimate illegal by the government so we cannot employ the children and if we are employing the children that is simply against the law a rigorous punishment must be given by the authority for employing children and exploiting them even if the children are from poor houses government has made arrangement to provide education in schools and colleges the children have to work in the day in their own houses in their own farms and at night they have to study so there are night schools in our country where they can study during the night and they can work out during the day in their own farm and in their own houses The, the the main cause of child labor is poverty ignorance and the nexus of the landlords and the politicians there is a big nexus between the sahukars politicians policemen and the landlords these people you know compel the people uh, from the poor houses to come and work sometimes they are also bonded laborers they are working from generation to generation so they cannot get rid of this i mean curse the child labor the only thing that can do that can be done is to make them capable so we can just create awareness among the people not to employ children in any sort of work and for that there is a need of general awareness there is a need of general i mean thought the people must understand that these children are the future of the nation if they are exploited our nation will never become strong Tomorrow, today children are tomorrow's future so 
they must be educated they must be provided education at any cost and for that reason some ngos are working day and night some non government organizations have been working day and night to bring such children to education and to bring them to school but that is not enough unless and until each and every one of us think of bringing such children to school and providing them education so let us just swear that we will not employ children in any place of work we will provide them i mean education and make them capable of leading a better life because if they are the blooming birds they must grow and bloom with the fragrance of love and affection there is a need of consideration sympathy and there is a need of willingness of the people to bring them to the main life and that is possible only when the people understand the urgency of educating such children poverty is the biggest challenge for a country like india and population is the second most important hurdle in the path of education but the government has been doing everything to cater to the needs of providing education to this i mean huge population the need is just to cooperate the government and to understand the need of the society let let us assert the need of bringing i mean equality to such children and providing them opportunity to learn in the schools which are provided by the government let them be given all the facilities that a normal child is given then only we can boast of being called a good nation uh, a, a nation of what otherwise it will become a curse to humanity save the children to save the nation thank you